Once these are on, they're on. The fenders are not coming off again. All right, it's another day in the shop. Last time you seen us get the front end all done, get the fuel tank in it. Today we're gonna try to cut the fenders, get them mounted and extended and fill this back in. We've got a lot of tedious uh, sheet metal welding to do, so let's get after it. All right, I think, never done this before, but I think we wanna cut this square right down this line, something like that. Then we'll bolt this fender on. That should tell us how much we need to put in here. I don't know how to get this square, but we're gonna just use our best educated guess here. That's not straight at all, Hunter. <laughs> just in case you're wondering. But I think it's good enough for what we're about to do. Let's see. All right, here we go. All right, we've got a two-piece fender. It's a new model. Okay, that's how that part goes. This part is gonna go right like that. Yeah, we just need that. But I think we're gonna end up cutting the fender off right here and adding a whole new piece to it to get this filled in so that we have the right. I guess it's time for a field trip. We'll run down and find some fenders. candidate right there. This has got inner fender and everything still. Any bees attacking? Not rusted, but there's a giant dent in the back. We have hammers. We can fix dents, right? Some 60s fenders. I think we're clean. No bees. Oh! Getting old, Hunter. All right, you get the other one. All right. All right, we need the, uh, we gotta take the inner fenders off. Landon's gonna put those on the red truck that he's driving currently, because they're bad, they're rotted clear out. And we'll use the rest of this. We don't have any green on this truck, it'll look good, right? These will get salvaged and used on something else. Well, Landon's truck. What I'm thinking is if we make a straight line from there, right up over all that, cut it off. Then we can come back here somewhere and cut this one off and off and graft it back together. That'll give us our, our fender piece we need. And then we'll just come over however far we needed it from there, cut it off and it should weld right back on. So we'll have to weld it this to this and then this to the other one. So we've got lots of sheet metal welding to do. All right, so I've made my mind up. I'm cutting that off. It's gone. Okay, now we've got this cute little fender. Oh yeah, that'll weld. Once these are on, they're on. They're gonna be, fenders are not coming off again. That's how much the gap's gonna get filled in. So that'll be good, won't it? We'll go cutting. We've got lots to cut. getting somewhere thinking I probably just want to cut this whole inner structure out I don't know how to make it tie back into that one I think we'll 
bend something in the inside to weld it to this inner. Okay, settle. Cutting it out. See how far off we are. I cut it long everywhere, I think. That's gonna fill it up pretty good. All right, we're gonna take and weld the two, these two pieces of fender together, then we'll figure out the length on that one. All right, we're to the point where it's close. We're gonna start tacking this thing together and then, yeah, lots of work. We've got issues here we to deal with. See this piece right here, we gotta try to make it match. It's gonna be a little interesting to say the least. See if we can figure out where this is going to cut off. This fender gets fatter. We're gonna have to do some. If you look right down here, it gets fatter. So I'm gonna have to do some uh, creative bending and weld this back down there. So technically, if I put that in there and I mark that right off the same place I marked this, should be good, right? We're about to find out. Are you happy with that, Mark Hunter? Yeah. That's gonna work. All right, well, let's see if I cut enough or too much. Looks like I cut too much. The top's pretty mint, but somehow the bottom is not mint. Not even close to it. So that corner is the only good spot we have. All right, I'm gonna fix this thing real quick so I don't have to keep dealing with it. Once we make it fit, then we'll take the dents out. All right, there's, there's that. There's this small detail of it not lining up and this little gap thing that Hunter made that we've gotta deal <laughs> with, but that's the gist of what we're doing anyway. And we just got lots of bending and tweaking to get it all straight. We'll have to get that structure behind it and then just kind of push it into that structure to get all the, the bows and everything out of it. Fun. I love sheet metal work. See if you can draw that anywhere close to fitting-ish. I think I got it. Good. Oh yeah, that's pretty good back it's freaking killing me today yeah same what did we do I, I don't know what i did but oh you're old hunter all right you get the other one all right i've been packing you for some time now and i thought <laughs> that's what it was oh yeah we all need to go do a spa that'd be a good uh we all just needed a little relaxing break can you imagine fab rats hits the spa i like it i like it for Picasso. My ribs are in pretty good shape. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yep. I haven't broken one in some time. Ribs are gonna be pretty close to lining up. Yeah, we got some, we got some body work to do in that area right there. Alright, I'm pretty pleased with that. I mean, it's not like smooth and all worked out, but that's something to work with anyway. Now we just got to build the other one and then weld this hood down this side. But we're about done for the day. So we'll finish this tomorrow.
maybe a Chevy tailgate now. Yeah, yeah it's a oh, Chevy yeah. tailgate. Chevy tailgate now, but it works. But look at that. You can load stuff again. Back to normal. Yeah. Man, I have to, I have to write me up a bill. <laughs> Body work. Perfect. It's a new day in the shop. You watched me and Hunter build this beautiful fender. It's good. We're gonna make this truck run today. Where our fuel parts showed up, I'm gonna take this over and start working on the radiator. And Ben's gonna get a power steering leak fixed. And we'll see if we can make fire. All right, so what we're doing, we don't want electric fans. We're running the El Manuel stuff. So I'll show you what we're gonna build. All right, that should come right up out of there. I'll go get the parts. All right, you seen me pick this up. Ooh. I think that bent wrong. And then it's gonna set onto this radiator, like so, and suck air from everywhere. Should be good. Perfect. Still hotter than <laughs> was a mat. That was like mat right there. I just touched that. It was hot. It's hot. Okay, we're taking a power steering pump out because it leaks. And even though it's new, it doesn't matter. We just gotta make it work. Right here on this seal. So we'll see if we can get that out. I think they glued this in. The tolerances here are going to be tight for this not to rub. But it's gonna work like a dreamboat. This thing's not. It's like. It's not round. I wouldn't go quite an egg, but maybe like a lemon. That's round. better. Oh, she's gonna work. And then we've got this other problem of. Like getting it in there with the radiator on it. I'll get back to you. I don't know how to fix that. It's got, it's not perfectly round right here. There's a, a dent. dent. There's a dent in it. So it was pushing the housing out, making it leak. Skills to fixing things. Guaranteed not to leak now. Fixed it. Put some silicone on it. That's what I'm doing. Uh, We're going to clean it up in silicone. We'll make it so it doesn't work. I mean leak. I mean, work, 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 leak, yeah. work, huh? That's, that's what we meant. That's not what I wanted to hear out of you. All right, since it leaked, we're gonna make it so it never leaks again or comes off. <laughs> There's parts flying. Okay, glued. Now put it all back together. All that stuff that we tore apart. Someone did drop that, obviously. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just burning stuff. Did you get, did you get it burned? I think you're good. She's yeah, in. Just making sure. You know what I'm about to do, Hunter? You can talk in this camera like amazing stuff. That's what I'm about to do. You're gonna cut a hole. I'm going safety. We got any more of those? I'm looking right now. Actually. I think it's in the air chuck drawer. Oh yeah. We're in the chips again, boys. putting these in, which are basically just to go around those outlets. So we'll set them in there and TIG them up and they'll stay tight. We are almost done. 
I'm just going to put this pulley on and tighten one last part and then put more fluid in it and see if it leaks. Will it leak? Look at the face did not say anything. <laughs> we glued it, right? Or ah, siliconed it'll be, it. It'll be fine. We siliconed it. Yeah, we'll be all right. It's working. It's working. Well, I've got those done. And I've just discovered there's not enough material if I cut it off at the bend to rebend it and have it reach. We're going to end up cutting it right down the middle. Which I don't have to weld it all back together. I only got to weld a little portion of it together in the middle because we're cutting a big hole out of the middle of it. So it won't be a big deal. So that's what I'm going to do. Cut her in half. All right, after hours and hours of labor, oh, and Paul's body work, no more leak. Sealed up. Nothing dripping now. Quit wasting fluid. So, on with the next item. Hey, it fits now. Okay, now all I gotta do is drill these holes, mound it, rivet it. Now we just gotta figure out exactly where that sets. Fan goes in there and got a, got a hole. So once again, we lost some sound, but you can see what's going on. Putting the rivets in, getting things dialed in on the radiator, getting it so I can put the fan shroud on. been marking it while I held it. Fit perfect. We've always planned to cut those bar that bar out and put a connector in it so we can remove the motor if we ever need it to. It's all coming together. It's getting closer, little by little. Even Dara showed up to the shop. Ben had the power steering pump all fixed, then he tightened the belt, and we didn't have the clearance right on the top of fitting. Bent the housing, made it leak again, so he had to tear it all back apart, straighten the housing, and fix it. So I think it was four times he tore the pump apart that day, but it's fixed and it works now. Everything's in its place as it should be with no leaks. All right, continuation of yesterday, maybe. Yes. We'll see how yes. things go, hopefully better. Shroud's built, you seen that last night as I finished it. Now we're gonna put the fan on it and see if it actually turns around. That's gonna determine how our day's going. And here we go. Got it. You can quit worrying about it. I got it handled. That's good, because I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna sleep tonight. They don't, they're not sticking through and hitting. We checked every one, right? Yeah. We hope. No, we did. All right, because we've done some other stuff that didn't pan out in the past. Just checking. I thought we weren't going to talk about that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a choice. What's up with you and bringing up the past? The past keeps coming back. And it turns into the present. Every time I try to do something else. She's TIG welded on. This is going to oh. go right here. Hey. Can you believe that? <laughs> Look at that. I thought there was no chance. Like, not, like, really? Not you gave me 0% yeah, chance. I did not. You're, it's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Hunter. Anybody looking for a camera guy? Because I have one. I'll give you. <laughs> well, Fan like shop's that. done. Now all we got to do Make is... A couple little mounts and the radiator will be mounted. Then we can move on to AC condenser, trans cooler. We're still missing one part to make this run. It's supposed to be here today. I don't know. We're fuel regulator. Waiting on a fuel regulator. We get that. Might run. We can make it run. So we'll hold out and see how it goes. All right. I'm trying to figure out this radiator mount. And I think I just want some. A little piece of metal or a little aluminum welded and with L bracket that'll hold it. 
but we need to run to the hardware store and see if they have some rubber grommets with a metal insert. All right, so Hunter thinks that he actually has the little grommets that we're looking for in his truck. I think. No but problems. he drove the Nova today, so he's gonna run up and go see. Options. Yeah, he's gonna run up and see if they're in his truck, and then we'll know if we have them. All righty. Look at all the red tires flat. Imagine that. Let's look. Oh, look at that. There's one right there. There's one. You know. No way, found them. <laughs> I didn't think I actually would. That is sweet. All right. Is that what you need? Uh, those are the parts, Hunter. Look at that. That's exactly what I need. Perfect. We are making fittings work. I'm figuring out the plumbing that we need to go to everything. Somewhere. How? I don't know how. Hunter's gonna tell me and I'll do it. All right, we are currently building these. These little brackets are gonna mount into these little holes and then are gonna weld right off of here, which is gonna hold this AC condenser in. So it should work great. I will bolt these onto there and then we'll take the whole radiator assembly over, TIG weld them on, should be done. Last bolt. Let's see how this looks. Fittings should clear. We're moving along. I'm gonna go over and weld this thing together right now. What you contemplating? Deep thought. Yeah. Deep thought. Trying to figure out a fitting. I don't have one. So I'm gonna have to go digging around, see if I can find one. All this, I'm gonna go collect some parts. I need a fitting for this AC, so. We're going to go to the boneyard. Which one do we need? Pick a vehicle. Suburban. Oh, hey, there's Suburban over there. That might be in that one. Huh. That one's right there. I think I'm gonna take that one. Okay, we found the part. We're gonna need that connector and one hook this. It's hot. I'm gonna cut this wire and then I'm gonna sawzall it and it'll be good. Okay, one part scored. Parts, parts, parts. Park, man. You weld yourself to like your jacket? Apparently I flipped some aluminum onto my jacket at some point. Oh. Guess what? Small stuff, Hunter. Alrighty. You like that? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, looks I will build these pieces that tie into right there. And we're done. I really like that. That's gonna go right where I want it. Right around the corners. And do what I can for you, man. Dude, you're yeah, it's professional. I this thing's gonna blow cold AC. Yeah, it is. That's a that's a good size. <laughs> I'm excited. Brackets are built. I'm currently marking their location. And we'll weld them in. And then the radiator is installed. Look at those though. You let me build four or five more wreckers, I'm gonna have welding down. We drill and tap those. Should bolt right in and radiators mounted then. Alright. Radiators bolting in. Alright, it's morning again. And we're still in the same spot we were for the last three days. It's been three days. It's been three days. Yep, but we've got some stuff stacked in here. It's got hoses on it. Things are getting there. We still don't have all the parts we need to make it run, but we're gonna get the grill buttoned up today and wait for parts. Right now we're putting trans cooler in. 
we're using these high tech, high dollar mounting things. You just poke that through there. This is not the right thing for it, but I mean, this rubber isn't, but it'll do it. I'm not gonna say that we have to unbolt this. I know, but you just did. A few moments later. All right, that wasn't much fun. We had to take those bolts off. She's in though. We got a piece of foam underneath each side of it. Built. We'll hook these back up and we're building a grill. All right, I gotta take this grill and shorten it, but I'll show you. If you notice, it has a, a bend in it. Starts somewhere right there and bends a little. So I gotta measure off the bend. Basically, I gotta find the middle of this truck, which is right here. Measure over to the grill and figure out how much I need. Cut this thing off and then figure out exactly how I'm gonna attach it and make it rigid. That sounds simple. We'll figure it out. Yeah, somewhere right there is gonna be close. Trimmed up. That should fit between those two. Like so. See, that's perfect. I don't mind that. We can, we'll drill two holes in that, bolt it down bolt solid. It. What do you think, Hunter? I like it. She looked like a Chevy grill. All right, we are, uh, it's like we planned this. Look at that. Original chrome strip back on the truck. That's cool. One more piece. I like That's it. That's pretty cool. I'll bolt it in. All right, once again, expectations did not meet reality. We didn't get her to run, but we got a lot done, and uh, we hope next time it runs. So, thanks for watching.